As she prepares to take the oath of office as a vice president, Kamala Harris has officially resigned as California's U.S. Senator. And she officially set off a political domino effect for California leadership. 17's Ashley Zavala is in our Capitol Bureau tonight with more. Kamala Harris's signature on her resignation letter as U.S. Senator set off three major leadership changes in California Monday. I'm not saying goodbye. Um, in many ways, I'm now saying hello as your vice president. But I do want to thank you for the honor of representing the place of my birth as a proud daughter of California. With her resignation letter in hand, Governor Gavin Newsom officially appointed California Secretary of State Alex Padilla to take her seat, sending the first Latino to Washington, D.C. to represent the Golden State in the U.S. Senate. Padilla tweeted Monday, I am honored and humbled by the trust placed in me. I intend to work each and every day to honor that trust and deliver for all Californians. Padilla resigned as Secretary of State Monday. With that letter also in hand, Newsom officially nominated San Diego Assemblywoman Shirley Weber for the office. If confirmed, she'll be the first ever African American to serve as California's Secretary of State. She tweeted Monday in part that she's committed to continuing the work of protecting voting rights and expanding access to the ballot. The legislature has 90 days to confirm Weber's position, but the Secretary of State's office tells us it could be until at least early February until that happens. In the meantime, James Schwab, who is the office's chief deputy, will serve as acting Secretary of State. Reporting in Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.